What's up guys, my name is Coach Jeremy. In this video, we're taking a look at a new product from Hockey Shot. This is called the Speed Deke Trainer. This is something you can use to work on your skills at home. And I'm excited to take a look at this because it's a product that I helped them design. I gave them a bunch of ideas on what they can do to improve and they pretty much put every single one in there. So I think you guys are gonna love it. Let's head over to the dockside rink and take a look. I'm excited to open this up, but I wanna let you know to stay tuned to the end of the video because on Instagram I asked, what problems are you guys having with your stick handling? I took the three most common questions that you had, and at the end of the video, I'll answer them for you to help you improve your skills. So let's pop open this box, see what's inside. The issues that I had with some of the other products for stick handling on the market is that they were just too basic. You could only really do one thing with them. I needed something more dynamic, something that could give you options. If you're spending money, it should be a little more advanced. So this definitely has that. So how it works is it has four posts and then three dividing units. So what you can do is create your own drills. The posts have the slots in them and the connecting pieces have the post with the rubber stoppers. You put them in there and you're good to go. Because of the modular design with a single box, you can have four pylons and three obstacles. Two pylons, one unit that you can go under and then two obstacles. Two units to go under and one obstacle. Or connect them all together for even more options and if you wanna keep on going with ideas and expansion, you can always add another box. That addressed a few of the issues that I had with other stick handling products in the market, but there was still one left and that's the height. I felt that when I was using some of the other ones, I had to lift my stick way too high for how I'd normally do it on the ice. And I'd always be hitting the thing and knocking it over, or it was just annoying to always have that bump. And the reason is other products are made so that a ball can fit underneath. I said, hockey shot, why don't I just make it so the puck can fit under and the ball can fit under with an adjustable height. So they delivered. If you push these two little tabs on the side, you can squish that down and you go into low profile mode. So now it's made nice and low so a puck will just fit underneath. Those are some of the main features of the Speed Deke Trainer. I should also mention that the center pieces right here are made of steel, which is a nice touch, a little bit more durable. So let's hit the dockside rink and we'll get to some drills to help you guys improve your skills. Let's go. The number one request is that people were looking for quick hands. Nice little tap, 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 moving that puck really quickly, moving your hands really quickly. So I'll start by telling you guys how to get those lightning fast hands, but we're gonna go to a different tip that I think is gonna help you a lot more on the ice. So number one, for the lightning fast hands, you have to have quick upper hand. This muscle right here does a lot of the work, and if you can move that really quickly, you can move your blade really quickly, and then you can control the puck. Basically, all you're doing is cupping the puck. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. So it's gonna take a lot of practice. That's what you need. You need to practice that top hand with the bottom hand, adding a little bit of power and speed, but it's all basically about timing, about getting that rhythm, and then as you do that, the more you practice, the faster you're gonna get. So let's see what it looks like. I'll do my best. If you do that for a little while, you'll notice this part of your arm really starts to burn. That means you're doing it right. You need to push yourself. You have to make yourself move faster than you think you can because it's a bit of a mental barrier. So keep on trying. You're going to get better and better. What's going to happen is when you first start, you're going to miss the puck a lot. And I mean a lot, which is why these little barrier pieces are nice. To keep the puck from leaving your stick handling area, that means you can keep on practicing. So now my tip that I think will help you on the ice a lot more is that being able to do that really quickly, it's... It's nice, but it isn't a vital skill, I don't think. I think that the thing that you should focus on the most is moving the puck. You saw when I was doing that, I did a few quick taps, but then I moved the puck quickly to another area. A few quick taps, move the puck to another area. And something that's gonna help you even more than that is deception, making it look like you're gonna go one way and then quickly moving to the other area. So there's things you can build on. Start by just getting those quick taps. That's nice. Once you have it, that nice dribble, that soft touch, then you have to build, you have to expand, you have to be able to move the puck quickly to your backhand, quickly to your forehand, quickly to the side, be able to stick handle forwards and backwards and side to side, and then move between all of those areas and then eventually work it around your entire body. So you get full control around your entire body and you can move the puck quickly from one area to the next, then you should be pretty good. Next comment that I got a lot is that the puck keeps on flipping up on its edge, so I can definitely help you with that. Let's go. To keep this puck from rolling up, it's all about bottom hand movement and your timing. If the blade is in contact with the puck and you try to lift it, some people use their bottom hand, which you shouldn't, but you can see I'm pulling the puck up. The tape is grabbing the edge of the puck and then that upward motion of the blade causes it to roll up. Really focus on that top hand, rolling it over and not lifting it over as much, All right? So a nice little tap. So right here, if I have the blade in contact with the puck, but I try to lift it, it's gonna pull that puck up with me. Same thing on the backhand, especially if I don't cup it, it's gonna lift that puck. 
But if I let it come off a little bit and then roll that wrist, you see, I can't flip that puck over because the blade is not pulling up like this on the puck. Focusing mostly on that top hand movement, not really pulling and forcing that stick up and over with that bottom hand, and also letting the puck come off the blade just a little bit, and that's gonna help you keep the puck from flipping up on its edge. If you're working on your skills at home, and I definitely recommend you do, your stick handling and your shooting are two skills that you don't have to be on the ice. You don't have to rent the ice. You can just practice at home, and you're gonna see huge improvements if you work on them every single day, or at least on a regular basis. So if you're doing that, you wanna work on your stick handling, you wanna create your own drills, uh, pick up the Speed Deke Trainer from Hockey Shot. I'll put a link in the video description. Got to say, huge thanks to Hockey Shot. They rented this cottage so I could build this dockside rink. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos coming out of here. Hit that subscribe button because I make new hockey videos every single week. But I got to get going because literally the rental's over. I got to pack up all this stuff, head to the car, and get out of here. So thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.